Welcome to my shop. My name is Guy, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Corality Halot Mage Pro 8K resin printer and the Corality washing and curing station. So this is the Corality Halot Mage Pro 8K unit. This has a build volume of 228 by 128 by 230. So 228. 128 and 230 high. The lid on this also has a hinge on it so it just folds back which is really super nice so you don't have to take it off and look for a place to set it. This is the build plate and this is the knob that tightens and loosens it to take it off. Now the resin tray does have an automatic fill on it so you can fill it up empty it and while it's printing it'll also detect how much resin is left in there so you never have to add to it while it's going. It also includes a fan back here that has a carbon filter on it to eliminate smell. That is a huge thing for me. There's also two USB ports on the front. You can load files in with this or hook up a webcam to it. Now this does have built-in Wi-Fi and there's also an Ethernet port on the back. So if you have a Corality Cloud account, you can monitor the print through your phone or from a computer. Now here's the resin tray and this just goes up here like this. And there's a couple locking nuts that screw down and hold it in place. Now to fill this up, I've got some resin here, and this is Creality's Fast Resin. There's just a little tube on the back. I'm just going to stick that down in there like that. Now I can press this button here, which is the end button, and this will start to extract resin from the container into the vat. One thing I'm not crazy about is this doesn't have leveling feet or adjustable leveling feet. So my garage floor is not very flat, or very level, I should say. So I've got to put these shims underneath the unit to keep the resin that level. So I have gone ahead and sliced the file and put it on this USB stick. I'm just going to insert that here. So I can hit print, select the nozzle, and it's going to download the file into the machine. I hit OK. Now I'm going to select the downloaded file, hit this, and I'm just going to let this go, but it says it's going to take an hour and 36 minutes. Let's go back. I'm going to hit settings. I'm going to go to print settings, print mode, and I'm going to hit Dynax or Dynex or Dynax or something like that. And then Dynex Plus. Now this is the fast mode. I go to print, select it. So now it says it's going to take an hour and 18 minutes. So it is faster. And then I can just hit start and it will start to print. Well, the print is finished. So I'm just going to undo this and take the build platform off the printer. I'm just going to take the whole bill plate and dump it in the washing and curing station. And this is filled with isopropyl alcohol. And I'm going to cover it up. I'm going to set the timer for five minutes. And we'll put it on normal mode. And then washing and start. And there's a little propeller that spins inside there and mixes up the IPA and cleans that off. Well, it's done washing. I can take this out of here. I'm going to set it here for a moment. I'm going to take this spatula and get this off the build plate. It's on there pretty good. There it comes. There we go.
Now I need to work on getting all these supports off of here. I've got all the supports off and uh, this looks really, really good. I'm just going to take this and I've got the washing and curing station set up to cure. And I've got the turntable on there. I'm just going to put the lid on here. And have it on normal. I'm going to set this to curing. Let's set this again to five minutes. I don't know what the exact number should be, but five minutes seems to be enough time and I'm going to put on normal because otherwise this will spin right off the plate and hit start. These lights turn on and it's UV light and it will cure that. Well it's done curing. Let's take it out of here and take a look at it. That's impressive. This almost looks like injection molded plastic. Well, here's one that just came off the curing station. Again, it looks like injection mold of plastic. Very, very tough, very smooth. Here's one that I printed on my uh, FDM or filament style printer, which is also Creality. Very fast. This took about two hours to print, and this has pretty visible layer lines. Still looks really, really good, but definitely not as nice as this. So after the print is done, I don't have to try to empty all this stuff back into the bottle. I can just hit the out button on this and it's going to automatically extract the resin from the vat. Now, it doesn't get it all out of there. There's still a little bit here and there. I can clean that up with a paper towel and some alcohol. Now here's several prints I made using this printer. Let's take a closer look at them. Now this is a parts tray that I printed out. This took about an hour and five minutes, I think. And this has a really nice look to it. Very smooth. And this is a really good practical print. This would have taken me about an hour and a half to an hour and 45 minutes using an FDM printer. Now this is a miniature of something. I really don't know what it is. They call it a Cardioth. I have no idea what that is. But this was pre-sliced and came with the printer. And uh, it did a pretty nice job. The detail is really, really nice. It had a ton of supports on it. When I tried to get them off, there's a lot of scarring and things like that. I wasn't really super happy with this print, but it still shows off some of the really nice detail on it. Now this is a print that I sliced myself, and this was using the Chi2 Box Pro that you do get a full year membership with the printer, which is really nice. And uh, this is a Balrog, which I think is something from a J.R.R. Tolkien thing, but uh, this is beautiful. The, the detail on it is incredible. It's really nice and solid. All this stuff is really sharp and pointy. But if you even look at like the flames on the sword, really, really good detail. I switched over to my phone and I'm trying to get some close-ups of this. And uh, you can look at, look at that. Look at how the skin is on that. It's just, just amazing. The teeth, the tongue, very impressive. Bottom line on all this is I really like the, the setup. It's, it's a really big printer. These are the things that I like, by the way. This is a really big printer. It's got plenty of room. I really like this hinged lid. This doesn't have it. Every time I use it, I gotta pick this thing up. This is one of the things I don't like so much. I gotta pick this up, I gotta find a home for it. Don't have to do that on this one, which again is really super nice. Um, huge build area. This is about half the size of a regular, let's say, Ender 3 printer, but it's got a plenty of height, it's got plenty of width, and I can print quite a bit on it. Another thing I really, really like is the carbon filter on it. When you print on this, it doesn't stink up everything, which is huge to me. I really hate the smell of this stuff. And uh, as far as the cleanliness of it, with this, it, it automatically puts the resin in and takes it out, so I'm not using funnels and pouring liquid all over the place. I find it really easy to use. 
Uh, these are some of the things I don't like that much. It, it doesn't have leveling feet on it, so my garage floor is anything but level. It, well, it's a garage floor, it's supposed to slope out. So I had to put some wedges underneath there to keep everything level. Um, the control screen, this has a ton of features on it. I either don't know what they do or I will probably never use them. I just slice this, uh, slice the items in the, the, in the slicer using their standard settings. Again, because I'm no expert, I put it on a card and bring it out here put it in and hit print. It's all I really want to do. I don't need to mess around with all that stuff. Another thing I really didn't like on the display is they haven't used short names for things. So some of the, the, the things that you want to look at, they start scrolling across the screen and you can't really read what it is. Again, that's, sm that's something small, but it's something I think they could fix. Um, but all in all, it's a really good machine. I really like this and the washing and curing station. I got some really, really good prints off of it. I found it really easy to use and that's a big plus for me. So if you're looking for a printer, give this one uh, a look. And if you decide to get one, I'm pretty sure you'll like it. Thanks so much for watching. And again, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section down below. We'll see you.